In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the 3D effect in Canva. It is so cool. It's kind of like layering your images so that you can have that effect of something um, reaching out or punching through a wall and things like that. I'm not going to do anything that dramatic today. I'm actually just going to show you the picture above. Notice the runner's knee and how the runner is stepping over the text. And it's very simple and I did it simple on purpose because when you're first starting out, keep it simple, right? So if you're new and you've never used it before, this will be the perfect video for you. Now, I also was going to dub this video three times a charm because this is the third time that I have taped this video. I am kind of multitasking. We are building a grain bin house in the front part of our property to build it up as a VRBO rental property. And the guys are up there right now um, getting foundation ready. And I just want to be up there, but I'm here. I have to work, right? I've got this to do and I work from home. So I've got my other work to do as well. So I'm here, not distracted anymore. My reward <laughs> for getting this right after the for the third time is I get to run back up there and get you some videos. So you'll be seeing that. I'm making a series on it, on the process of how we're doing it. And it's so, so exciting. Anyway, let's, this is exciting too. Canva is exciting. It is a, a design platform that does so many things. I'm just, I'm starting to make videos because I can't believe how much it does. And if I didn't know, I'm sure a lot of you didn't know. So my goal for the next few weeks is just to show you some things in Canva and I encourage you to use it. So let's go get over there. Go to www.canva.com. Now I'm here. One of the things that I want to do first is go to my elements because I want to find that runner, right? It says a person running. When I went in here and I started Googling down, oh, second thing that I noticed I had to do is hit photos. I wanted a live person. I didn't want graphic art or anything animated or like that. So watch out there, um, your second choice here. Now there are runners, but just not what I was looking for. I needed that leg up in the air. I even Googled uh, knee high and I got a lot of people doing exercises, but it wasn't quite what I was looking for. So that's going to happen sometimes as, as wonderful as Canva is and, and all the wonderful features and the wonderful photos. Sometimes you have to go someplace else. So what I did is I went to Google under person running and I found lots of great photos. A lot of the knees are up exactly what I was looking for, but you, we got one problem here. We can't just go to Google and grab an image we want. Some of these are licensed and it would be illegal for you to do that. So how do you know which ones are free and which ones are not? What I want you to do is go under tools and then right here you see usage rights. Click that and creative common licenses are free. Commercial licenses are not. You have to pay for those. So let's see what I what my selection is now. And I see a couple good ones here. And there you go. The one that I chose, you can see it right here. It does say licensable, but they do have it listed as common. So let's go back. And um, what you need to do is take that that picture that you found and download it to your desktop and then you're going to upload it back into Canva. And I've already got that done. So let's go back to Canva and go under my uploads here. Whenever you want to upload a photo, just select this and it'll take you right to your desktop or a browser, wherever your photos are, and you can just grab them from there. All right. So we have our picture here. Another thing that you need to do is copy this photo because you're going to be using it twice as an overlay. Remember I said that um, making that 3D effect is actually taking photos of the same thing and, and overlaying them in a certain way. And I'm going to show you how. This one, I don't want the background. I already have it. All I want is that man running. He's the one that I'm going to overlay. So I'm going to go over here where it says edit image, and then I'm going to remove the background on that one. I do have another way that you can remove a background and I'm going to show you the, the link right now. I have a whole video, but it's called removebg.com uh, and you can go in there and just upload the image that you want to remove the background and it does it just like this. So if you're in a hurry sometime and you don't want to go all the way into Canva, that's a great thing to do. I've got a video above. It'll explain exactly how to do it step by step. Also, if you don't have the pro account, then you can use that um, since the free account does not offer that. I do have a link obviously to the, to the pro account below. And if you want to check it out, it's free. It's a free trial and see what the difference is and see if that's something you think you could use. All right. So we're going to go back here. Now here's the second thing I want you to do. When you look at this image, you're going to want to edit it um, as far as the saturation, 
the brightness, the contrast. So let's go ahead and just play with that just a little bit. We're, that we're not here to really get a perfect picture as much as to understand how to do the 3D. But, you know, I've got some numbers here. Let's bring that back a little. Yeah, I like the contrast, actually. All right, now I'm going to write those numbers down on a piece of paper. I've got 11, 34, 25. Why do I want to do that? Because I need to put the exact same editing features on the other picture. Remember, these are going to be stacked on top of each other, and we want them to be exactly the same. So this could be definitely a mistake that you'll catch if you do it because you'll see that it's different. All right, so there we have our two pictures. And this guy's on top, right where I want him. And this one's on the bottom. Now, of course, I wanna put something in between them. That's what we're working on, right? We need something in between. And we're gonna put that statement or that little quote. So let's go under text. And I wanted something bold and you know blocks of text. So I, I'm gonna go down here to the bottom where it says pool party and use that. And then I'm going to change it to white. And I still have that in, uh, shadow that's the same color as the beach. And we're going to make it smaller. I'll have to delete that top part. This is kind of like in two parts. And it's going to say, you've got this. OK, so I'm going to go in and retype that. And I still need to go smaller. If you just hold on to it, it'll, it'll take it way down for you. All right, there we go. And now I'm going to take it and just move it down here under his leg because that's what I want. I want his leg to be lifting over that quote. This guy's going to do it. Now, here I have another problem. See how when I bring this up, it's underneath the the lettering or the quote so hit position again and bring it forward now it's on top now the next thing i want to do is make sure this guy is the exact same size and you're going to lay him right on top you can still see his tennis shoes are a little different and there we go see how it's almost exactly the same now i don't want the back leg to be over i want the front leg to be over so what i'm going to do is click this photo and pull it in until it looks like only that front leg is going over and the other leg is going behind now you can also move your lettering if you need to if you if you feel like it's a little bit too too high and then let's go look at this again i think it's good right there i think it makes a difference okay and there you have it it's that easy so the easy part to be honest is doing the image and the layering because once you do it a few times it's really easy the hard part is figuring out what you want your design to look like and finding those photos there are a lot of places you can go to called pexels.com for instance where you can go get free stock photos so if they're not here in canva which a lot of times they will be um i just have my mind set on a certain thing um, you can also get them from other places and bring them in. So because of that, your ability to make anything is almost unlimited because you can get them from other places and bring them in. All right. Thank you for watching today. Give me a thumbs up if that was helpful. Uh, write in the comments if you have a question. Is there something you're, um, you're looking for or you're wondering if Canva can do it? Just ask me in the comments and I will be happy to help you there. You have a blessed day. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you on the next video.